were done, when tis done, then twere well that were done quickly. If the assassination could trammel up the consequence and catch with his surcease success, that but this blow might be the be all and end all here. But here, upon this bank and shoal of time, we jump the life to come. But in these cases, we still have judgment here. That we but teach bloody instructions, which, being taught, return to plague the inventor. This even-handed justice commends the ingredients of our poison chalice to our own lips. He's here in double trust. First, as I am his kinsman and his subject, strong both against the deed. Then, as his host, who should against his murderer shut the door, not bear the knife myself. Besides, this Duncan had borne his faculty so meek, hath been so clear in his great office, that his virtues will plead like angels, trumpet tongue, against the deep damnation of his deed. And pity, like a naked newborn babe, striding the blast, or heaven's cherubim, horsed upon the sightless couriers of the air, shall blow the horrid deed in every eye, that tears shall drown the wind. I have no spur to prick the sides of my intent, but only vaulting ambition which overleaps itself and falls on the other. Which hath made them drunk, hath made me bold, what hath quenched them, hath given me fire. Hark! Peace. It was yellow that shrieked, the fatal bone which gives the sternest good night. He is about it. The doors are open, and the surfeited grooms do mock their charge with snores. I have drugged their possets, that death and nature do contend about them, whether they live or die. Who's there? What? Ho! Oh. Alack! I'm afraid they've awakened, and tis not done. The attempt and not the deed confounds us. Hark, I laid their daggers ready. He could not miss him. I did not resemble my father as he slept. I had done it. My husband! I have done the deed. Didst thou not hear a noise? I heard the owl scream and the crickets cry. Did not you speak? When? Now. As I descended? I. Hark, who lies in the second chamber? Donald Ray. This is a sorry sight. A foolish thought to say a sorry sight. There's one did laugh in his sleep, and one cried murder, that they did wake each other. I stood and heard them, but they did say their prayers and address them again to sleep. They are too lost together. One cried, God bless us, and amen the other, as they had seen me with these hangman's hands. Listening their fear, I could not say amen as they did say God bless us. Consider it not so deeply. But wherefore could not I pronounce Amen? I had most need of blessing and Amen stuck in my throat. These deeds must not be thought of these ways, so it will make us mad. Methought I heard a voice cry, Sleep no more, Macbeth has murdered sleep, the innocent sleep. Sleep that knits up the raveled sleeve of care, the death of each day's life. Sore labor's bath, balm of hurt mind, great nature's second course, chief nourisher in life's feast. What do you mean? Still it cried, sleep no more. Glamis hath murdered sleep, and therefore Cotter shall sleep no more. Macbeth shall sleep no more. Who was it thus cried? 
Why, worthy Thane, you do unbend your noble strength to think so brainsically of these things. Go get some water, and wash this filthy witness from your hand. Why did you bring these daggers in the place? They must lie there. Go, carry them, and smear the sleeping rooms with blood. I'll go no more. I'm afraid to think what I have done. Look on it again? I dare not. Infirm of purpose. Give me the daggers. The sleeping and the dead are but as pictures. Tis the eye of childhood that fears a painted devil. If you do bleed, I'll gild the face of the grooms withal, for it must seem their guilt. Whence is that knocking? How is it with me when every noise appalls me? What hands are here? Ha! They pluck out my eyes. Will all great Neptune's ocean wash this blood clean from my hand? No. This, my hand, will rather the multitude in the seas incarnadine, making the green one red. My hands are of your color, but I shame to wear a heart so white. I hear a knocking at the south entry. Retire away to our chamber. A little water clears of the steam. How easy is it then? Your constancy hath left you unattended. Hark, more knocking. Get on your nightgown, lest occasion calls and shows to be watchers. Be not lost so poorly in your thoughts. To know my deed, to best not know myself. Wake Duncan with thy knocking. I would thou couldst.